Hi, I'm Sapientia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.6. Let's calculate f value. One way ANOVA sixes. Okay, in prior video, we uh, understand conceptually what is the f value. F value is the ratio of between and within variance. And uh, the reason why we use within variance is the same as in t, t value. Uh, we need a kind of some reference number. The within variance is theoretically is occurred randomly. And uh, it is meaningless deviation and variance. So if the between variance is smaller than within variance, the, there is no difference in our groups. Uh, our interest is the no numerator between variance, but we cannot decide how much large it is. Yeah, so we incorporate the, the reference number within variance and make a ratio here. And this ratio is f value, right? Okay, so today, we will uh, learn how to calculate the f value. But before going to the uh, calculation of f value, we need to check the statistical hypothesis of one-way ANOVA. The null hypothesis is uh, mu1, mu2, and uh, mu k is same. Here, the k is the number of groups, right? Mu is the mean value of each group. And the alternative hypothesis is mu i and mu j for some i j is not same. Uh, if we change this one into a sentence, at least, this is very important, at least mean of one group is different. Otherwise, we can change this alternative hypothesis as not all means are equal. Okay? At least is very, very important. At least. Mm -hmm. Why? As we said in prior video, if f value is sufficiently large and statistically significant, it means the p value is less than 0.05. It means that between variance is sufficiently large. But we couldn't identify how many groups are different and who is or who are different from others. It means that we just only at least one group is different from others. It could be one group, two groups, three groups, or all groups, but we don't know from their f value. It just signify, it just let us know at least one group is different or not. So if if our f value is statistically significant and then after the uh, F test, we have to another test that is post hoc. We will learn about this post hoc in next video. So you have to know from here the significant result of F test just means at least one group is different. Mm -hmm. The details of the difference we don't know. Okay, let's calculate f value. Um, so take your mind back and think of the variance calculation. As I said, variance is sigma xi minus x bar and squared, and then all things are sum up and divide by m minus 1. So if we have a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is our data. In the case, our mean value is 3. And then the variance is calculated as 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 3, and 5 minus 3. And all are squared mm -hmm, and sum up and divide by m minus 1, 4. That is 2.5. Simple example 
which could be calculated by hand is provided in this video. Okay, our example is like this. To test two medicines for cold, we prepared three medicines. Medicine A, B, and placebo. Uh, total 10 patients, 10 subjects were included in our examination and uh, we randomly assigned them into the three groups. Medicine A, Medicine B, and placebo. And then counted the days until they were completely recovered. The days will be used as a dependent variable, right? Okay. This is the um, snapshot, screenshot of uh, Excel. And uh, we have uh, 10 subjects, 10 patient, And this is a dependent variable, right? And uh, this is an independent variable. Group 1 is uh, medi medicine A, 2 is medicine B, 3 is placebo, right? Okay, uh, let's go to the uh, calculating between variants. Here, we need to check the group mean. Group mean is uh, these three are uh, same group, so the group mean is uh, these three numbers mean value, and the second group's mean values are. Uh, these four numbers uh, mean value, all things are same, same, and the final threes are same, the placebo, okay? And then we calculate the between variance at first. Um, it is very simple. The between variance means uh, the deviation of group mean and grand mean. Here, the grand mean is 6.44, right? So, for the first patient, uh, we calculate 6. 6 is the, the first group's group mean minus 6.44. This is a grand mean and squared. And also same, 6 minus 6.4 squared, 6 minus 6.4 squared. Um, if you are beginners, um, maybe you uh, ask a question why we should do three times. Yeah. The reason is very simple. We have three, uh, we have three subjects in the first group. So, one, two, three. Three times we have to. So it is calculated as 3 multiplied 6 minus 6.4 and squared. Likewise, for this 4, this is a second group, medition B, uh, the group mean is 5.995 and minus the 6.44 and squared and 4 times, right? And then the last uh, placebo group is uh, mean value is a 6.53 and minus 6.44. Uh, 6.53, I'm sorry. Anyway, squared and three times multiplied and all numbers are sum up. Mm -hmm. So the final number is 5.127, right? Here, this number 5.127 is the numerator of between variance. This is not the between variance, just the numerator. If our data is 1 to 35, in that case, the 5.127 is this part, right? Numerator part. So if we want to find out the real value of between variance, we have to calculate this part. Mm -hmm. So when you calculate between variance, the denominator, the, the denominator, the denominator, this part, this part, the denominator is the degree of freedom, df. Uh, likewise, t test, likewise, t test, df, degree of freedom is associated with sample size. Here, df is k minus 1. k is the number of groups. We have four groups, right? 
So uh, we have three groups. Sorry, you have three groups. So our first degree of freedom is two because we have three groups A, B, and placebo. So the DF is uh, two. In ANOVA, we need to uh, two DFs. This is the first DF, and we need the second DF because we have uh, two variances, right? Um, so we call it this DF uh, is call it as a uh, first DF. So DF one is two. Okay, this is the first degree of freedom is two. And uh, uh, let's calculate the within variance. Within variance is the inside group variance. So uh, it is calculated as the number 4.3 minus group mean 6 and squared, right? 6 minus 6 squared, 6.7 minus 6 squared. And the second group's mean is a 9.5.95. Uh, so it is calculated as 5.5 minus 5.95 and squared and so on. So all things that are summed up is uh, 1.757 7, anyway. Okay. And then this number 1.757 is also numerator of within variance. This part. Mm -hmm. This part. So we need to calculate the denominator. It's a degree of freedom, likewise, in prior case. Here we call it as a DF2, second degree of freedom. So the DF2 is calculated as, calculated as n minus k. Here n is uh, sample size, k is uh, the number of groups, so it is 10 minus 3, and then DF2 is 7. Very interesting point, very interesting point is if we sum up DF1 and DF2 is 2 plus 7 and it's 9, it's the same as M minus 1. M minus 1 is the degree of freedom of t-test. This is the uh, very interesting point. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, let's summarize all things. From the first calculation of between variance, we find uh, 5.127 and DF1 is 2. So, uh, in this case, uh, we call the 5.127 is as SS between because it is a squared, sum of squared deviation. So, SS and between. SS between is 5.127 and DF1 is 2. And uh, from the second calculation, 1.757 and uh, DF2 was a 7. Uh, likewise, this number 1.757 is uh, SS within, sum of squared, SS within, and DF2 is a 7. Consequently, the real number of F value is here, the 5.127 is divided by 2, right? This one. This number is between variance. And uh, from the second calculation, the number 1.757 divided by 7, this is uh, here, is the within variance. So, after this calculation is uh, is uh, 2.564 divided by 0 0.251 is almost almost 10.216. This is our F value, right? However, in any statistical software, whatever SPSS, Jamobi, whatever. If you uh, uh, just to uh, do the one-way ANOVA, maybe you see this kind of uh, result table. This table. Mm -hmm. Here, there are so many numbers. Um, in many cases, my students uh, at first just give up. 
but after following this video they can know they can identify what this number is first of all here 5.127 what is that that is the ss between the first number of variance we calculated it by hand and the second one is uh, ss within is uh, 1.757 we also calculated this number from the second case right so if we sum up this number that is a 6.8084 mm -hmm. 884 anyway and uh, df1 is 2 df2 is a 7 and sum up 9 uh -huh. it's very easy and what is the ms ms is a mean squared something mean squared between mean squared within this number is simply speaking the variance so 5.127 divided by 2 is 2.564 this number right and 1.757 divided by 7 is 0 0.251 this number and then what is the f value f value is the ratio of between and within variance this number divided by like this equal 10.216 and the p value is very small 0.008 of course if you want to uh, know the exact p value uh, excel provide a very good function here if you use a uh, fdist function and uh, the first is f value is uh, this number going to here df1 is 2 this number and df2 uh, is a 7 this number if you insert these numbers in excel you find p value 0 0.008 mm -hmm. um, this is the calculation of f value and it is the result table of f value so now you done all things of ANOVA one way ANOVA okay today we are done here 4.6 let's calculate f value one way ANOVA sixes see you next time